Next is the products. We can uh, select the products from um, the top left corner. And over here, we can see the products. Uh, products at present and uh, uh, the products which are available to sell and now we can see all the products by clicking on clear okay and uh, here we can add a new product by clicking on the create button okay after clicking on the create button now we have to give a name for the product uh, like uh, Okay, and uh, reference SP you have to give a barcode number EN13 so for the product uh, barcode number for the product and then the characteristics of that product like if it can be sold we can click on the checkbox sold and if that product can be purchased we can click on the checkbox purchased like that and over here we can give an image we can We'll go here and browse particular image from any location likewise we can give an image and then going on to the procurement informations uh, procurement um, the product type must be defined if it's a stockable product or consumer product or a service um, a stockable product or products which uh, the accounting related um, things are taken to handling and um, the consumable products are products which are available in abundant uh, it can be sold and uh, purchased according to its uh, characteristics and the services um, which which actually uh, defines the human efforts uh, even such services can be sold and purchased and the procurement method uh, basically there are two procurement method procurement method actually defines um, what kind of method must that product uh, follow once that product uh, the quantity of the product is reduced or if it, uh, once it is sold you know um, and next is the supply method like buy or produce okay. and then uh, the base price we can define the sale price and cost price of the product over here by giving a uh, sale price like uh, 50 or and a cost price like 20 okay um, and um, then the costing methods so if we give we can give a standard costing method or an average or an average costing method it if uh, an average average method means um, it takes the average of the uh, the products cost prices like if we buy a product a different a di with different cost price it will take an average price and set it as its cost price and then um, here we can uh, select a category for the product like um, any brand or products or um, inside that we can define a new category mm, category like um, household and we can select a parent category for it like um, all products and then save it and uh, uh, after that um, we can select the unit of measurement we can select a default unit of measurement for it like um, pieces or centimeter day gram etc and we can select a unit of measurement um, for the purchase like if we purchase that project part with a particular unit of measurement gram kilogram okay. it can be defined over here and then next is the procurement and location over here we can define the location of procurement like uh, production location inventory location such things and um, then the minimum stock rules if a product is um, defined as procurement method with make to stock then we can set minimum stock rules like if a particular uh, if the stock for a particular product goes below a maximum quantity we can set a maximum and minimum minimum quantity if it if uh, okay we we'll select one and uh, 
so this product won't go below 10 and the maximum we can select up to 50 so always this product will be maintained within a stock of 10 to 50 and then we can define a supplier for the product you can create a new supplier like if there are suppliers defined that supplier can be selected and so we can add a supplier to the product and then uh, we can also handle the income account and expense account for each product uh, by selecting it from the accounting tab you can select the income account and expense, expense account so we can easily find out uh, the accounting details related to that product and over here we can add taxes related to the product by configuring the taxes by clicking on the create button we can add new accounts a tax account and similarly we can add a taxes over here and uh, we can also have a we, there's a provision to view all the transactions all the stock moves related to that particular product by clicking on stock moves a link towards the right side over here by clicking on the stock moves we can view all the moves related to that particular product so so at present there's no stocks because we have just created it so all the products uh, all the stock moves can be viewed over here so these are the main uh, things related to the products.